Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quake. Um, this is the original release of Quake. Well, this is rather, this is the uh, OpenGL version of Quake, which is, uh, it's basically just the original, but using OpenGL as a renderer. So it looks a lot nicer. Um, yeah, so this is of course uh, episode one, uh, level one. I'm going to gonna just go through this first level. See if it uh, turns out well. It shouldn't be too much more now. Yeah, now we're pretty much at the end. Yep, now we're at the end. 1 minute 23, it's pretty good. So, uh, if you don't know what Quake is, Quake is the original. Um, it's the first, I believe it's the first ever first person shooter to have a full 3D. It is made by id Software, the creators of Doom. Which I'd say a lot of people are about as fond of as Quake. There's a lot of love for id Software's game, uh, games, not just game. I believe the uh, latest, the latest version uh, of Quake, at least the series, has to be Quake Live. I believe. Um, Pardon is bee hopping. I'm just kinda quickly going through the levels. Seeing how quickly I can do them. Because I, uh, I figured out the secret to bee hopping. Which is, uh, apparently, because it, I don't know how it programmed it, but it seems like, um, seems like basically when you jump and then, uh, stop holding jump and then hold jump again, um, it'll basically jump to the instance you land, which allows for, um, allows for bunny hopping and such. So I'm playing on normal, which means that means that I can kill these guys in two nades or quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, standard shots. So let's see, these guys need to die. So the nail gun is. Pretty much just a straight upgrade. Oh, I don't have the key. Um, the nail gun is pretty much just a straight upgrade from the standard shotgun. And if you notice, the OpenGL renderer has a very small HUD. I'm not quite, I believe it's to do uh, something to do with the resolution. But it's running on a much higher resolution than uh, standard Quake. So I believe that has something to do with it. Oh. Uh, so we gotta restart the level because I fucked up. It's fine. I 
messed around way too long here anyways. There we are. Ow. There we are. Just get him getting some enemies killed for a sec. So knocking those o those guys over is fine because that just allows me to do some more stuff. Oh dear, he died quickly, and I'm dying quite quickly as well, unfortunately. Good thing I didn't pick up a lot of health packs, because then I can just ow, then I can survive. Okay, so, yeah, this is the third level, as you uh, should probably know, and I've already died. This is the level which introduces these guys, which can only be killed uh, properly if they are exploded, which is why I've got the grenade launcher out for most of this. So you might be wondering why I'm playing Quake. Which is an old, quite an old game. Quite an old game. It's been. What? 19 years since it came out? So. It's definitely been a while. It has definitely been quite a while since uh, first person shooters were this fun. I mean, what I th personally think is that uh, Quake was one of the last good first person shooters. Uh, mainly because single player wise, nearly every single first person shooter is incredibly planned. Which doesn't really help. So I'm just kind of looking, seeing if I can grab anything more. Just trying to grab some uh, extra stuff. Make sure I don't die. This is the first level that introduces those guys. They're quite strong. And have a lot of damage. Let's see, bio suit. Bio suit's great because that means I can be in this horrible infested water. Uh, without dying or getting damaged. So I'd say nail gun or grenade launcher is what you want to kill those men. Seen quite a lot of quite a bit of uh So this is possibly this is one of the possibly one of the better weapons in the game. This is the super nail gun. Which is a nail gun, which is completely, like it's incredibly fast, which is what it's called, the super nail gun. And it's entire, the entire reason it's here is because it's a pure upgrade from the actual rail gun. Or nail gun, I mean, sorry. So, as you might imagine, it's quite good. Now you might notice, I can't look... I can't quite look directly down or directly up. I'm not quite sure if this is an engine limitation or if this is simply a limitation to make the game harder. I believe it's simply an engine limitation due to the fact that it's so odd that you can't look directly down. Um, <coughs> You mainly notice it in areas where you want to kill someone who's beneath you. Something which I'd say a lot of people might want to do. I received 15 health. So 
So again, you need to be careful and quick because it's quite easy to die. Just due to the way the game's set up. It's set up that you're meant to take chances. Something which I don't think a lot of modern games really are made for you to do. I think a lot of them are much more based around um, trying to be as realistic as possible instead of trying to make the game as immersive and enjoyable as possible. Or maybe they maybe mo a lot of modern developers believe that um, games can only be immersive if they are incredibly realistic. I don't know. I'm not a AAA developer. I believe... I actually believe quite a bit that it's mainly due to money. Because there's a lot of money in making modern AAA... Um, modern AAA... Uh, modern military shooters. I'm not quite sure why. It might just be the fact that there's a large audience for that kind of thing. I don't know. That's kind of just my thoughts, really. I don't necessarily think that you have to. That you have to enjoy old school shooters. I just think that if you can enjoy them, that's quite nice because they are very, they're incredibly enjoyable. So, from on that level, this is a level I've spent quite a bit of time on, mainly due to it being quite difficult, but. Uh, I should be able to survive. There's health packs a lot of places. Now one weird thing with um, one weird thing with open jail quake. Is that uh, there, are, there are some very weird texture problems. I see a lot of a lot of um, a lot of screen tearing. And play a dead. So yes, that's basically what this level is all about. It's dying and repeating until you survive. So basically what the game does, every single time you, um, every single time you run out of ammunition, the game will give you a weapon which is, which it deems more powerful. Um, the problem with this is that sometimes it'll give you something like the dub barrel shotgun when there's an enemy at long range. And the double barrel shotgun is, in every single sense of the word, worse. It's a complete downgrade from the long, uh, from the standard shotgun in close range uh, combat. This is due to the fact that its spread is much larger, which means that it's much harder to actually hit enemies who are close quarters. So here we get basically the enemy a lot of people probably remember. Understandably, of course. Because he's an asshole. Luckily for me, I can go around, grab some ammo, come back. Let's see if we 
can grab some ammo anywhere. Or health, rather. I'm probably going to die. Um, <coughs> last try, and then after this, I'm going to quit. But hopefully, you should have enjoyed this. And what I do wish to see does that change anything? It should change something at least. It's I wonder if it actually changed the. Um, field of view. Which it didn't really seem to do, so the field of view might be locked. There we are. So what you want to do um, is you want to clear out rooms before you have to go through them. That's what I'd say would be most beneficial. Clear out rooms, learn... Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What? 